guys, it's me and there's more. I have a special guest. Say hi. So she is 18 months now and you guys have really been supportive of my baby hair care videos. You guys have been asking a lot of questions. So I just wanted to go ahead and answer some of my most frequently asked questions. So I can't really tell you guys how exactly to build a hair regimen for your child, but what I can recommend is um, find the products that work best for your child, um, find the products that your child's hair like. Of course, everybody's hair is different, so everybody's hair will not respond to the same products. Building your child's hair regimen does take a lot of patience. Um, so be patient with that and it, it does take a lot of trial and error. Uh, what I can do, what my videos can help you with is showing you what techniques work best for my child's hair and hoping that those techniques work for your child's hair as well. Wash her hair um, in the bathtub when she is taking a bath. Um, now she's 18 months, so this has been our way of washing her hair since she's been a young baby and up until now since she was a toddler. But I wash her hair in a bath and what I will do is I find that a teacup works best. Um, what I will do is I only wash it depending on how much buildup it has. If it has a lot of buildup and I need to use some, a clarifying shampoo, I will wash it one time with the clarifying shampoo. Then I will put some conditioner on it, wash her up, let the conditioner set, detangle, and I will um, take. I will rinse out the conditioner. Um, before I was using the As I Am, which is an alternative to using this shampoo, but the shampoo that I'm using is one. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys seen the infomercials that come on very late at night, but I use one, and what I like about one is it's a cleansing conditioner, so it kind of has does two jobs in one. Now don't get don't get that confused with like a herbal essence two in one conditioner because it's not like that because that has sulfates. This is actually a sulfate free conditioner and when I find that this is very very moisturizing for her hair I don't have to add any extra oils to this I just use it I wash it one time with the one and I detangle it it gives her a lot of slip and I use this on my hair as well but um, I really like the one to wash her hair say about the Johnson's blue shampoo is that I did tell you guys that I was using that when I first started making my videos now looking back I probably would not recommend that shampoo just because it's so harsh on the hair it has sulfates um, I would definitely recommend you finding better shampoos there are a lot of good all-natural shampoos for babies if you go to stores like Whole Foods um, they have excellent shampoos um, if you go to Walgreens they have all-natural shampoos CVS Target um, so I I'm not really a fan of the Johnson line, although it's catered to babies. What I find about the Johnson line, and it, it has the same ingredients as our shampoo. Um, so if you can find, even if you use on your baby's hair, I would even recommend a children's shampoo on your baby hair. Um, but if you find that your baby's hair is dry or it has cradle cap, I um, would recommend you kind of staying away from those um, harsh shampoos or even adding extra oils to your shampoos um now as you can see this is how her hair is right now I'm really loving this hairstyle it is so effortless um and this will last me two weeks. Now, to get this, a hairstyle like this to last two weeks, this is my holy grail when it comes to her hair. And you've seen this so many times in my video, but basically, it's just a wig cap that you can use. And actually, she's getting better with keeping it on her hair, so let's see how long it stays on her hair throughout the video. But it's actually just a wig cap, and I'll put this on every single night. So I'll keep this on a day like today. 
which is the weekend, which will help her, um, which will help keep the styles to last longer. And I took, I do like this type of hairstyle because, as you can see, it's just short. So when the hairstyle starts getting old, and um, this is also for you ladies who do not know how to braid old. This will transition into another hairstyle, as you can see. Um, so she's a little fussy, but as you can see, it can transition into another hairstyle. So this hairstyle in itself will last two weeks. And the only product that I use, of course, is um, my Everything Butter. So your child's hair is drying out because something is causing it to be dry. Um, so figuring out what is causing it to be dry. It can be a number of things. It can be you, her not wearing um, something at night like a wig cap like I use for my child's hair. Um, the friction against the cotton. Cotton can make your child's hair dry out. Now if you're doing things to retain moisture and the hair is still dry, finding something that's going to prevent the hair from drying. That can be um, moisturizing the hair on a daily basis. Um, me, for example, I moisturize her hair about two to three times a week when it's in this type of hairstyle. I'll just retwist the hair um, using the butter and um, or sometimes I might use a little bit of oil. Now, it's up to you to find an oil that works best for your child's hair. You can use oils like coconut oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, olive oil, anything that you find that works best for your child's hair. I recommend you doing it just like a regimen. Sometimes that does take a lot of uh, trial and error. So using, finding oils that help moisturize your hair, um, will sometimes take a lot of trial and error. It really depends how often I wash her hair a week. Before I was washing her hair once a week, now I wash her hair every other week. And the reason why I do this is because I try not to keep, uh, I, I'm, the reason why I've started washing her hair twice a week is what I find that it becomes, she becomes very fussy at the part of me rinsing the shampoo or the conditioner from her scalp. So what happens is I'm afraid that sometimes um, I haven't rinsed it out all the way. And as you know, sometimes, sometimes products can cause cancer. So I'm just afraid of things like that. So what I do is I wash it every other week um, because I want it to get as rinsed out as possible. But I don't want to traumatize her in the process of doing her hair. Um, because, um, because washing a child's hair can be traumatizing for them. Just think about when you were a child and how you felt about getting your hair wa washed at an early age. That was not fun for you. Um, so I try to wash it every other week. Um, I do use the one. Now, if I feel like her hair is really, really dirty, I'll use the Trader Joe's Tea Tree um, shampoo to clarify her hair. I actually don't use Shea Moisture products. Um, I use them for myself. I haven't tried using them on her hair yet i my like i said my regimen is very simple um there's only two products that i use which is the one and my everything butter um and other than that i really really don't use anything else on her hair um i find that these products work well her hair is growing she has a good amount of hair her hair stays moisturized in these products so as far as I'm concerned, there's no need for me to change her products because I I found products that work well for her hair. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Please leave them down in the comment section below. That is the only um, way that I do answer questions related to um, my baby's hair care. Um, that's the best way to contact me or just anybody else. If you have anything that might be able to help me with my child's hair, please let me know. And thanks for watching. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Um, we work... So... Oh, yeah. Shh. 
Just like a. Oh, wait, wait. Like I said about building a, just like I said about building a regimen, it takes a lot of trial and error.